special day as we celebrate the greatest miracle of all. We are honored that you are here with us today as today we celebrate Jesus' life, power, and victory over death on the cross. To our online family, welcome and thank you for tuning in with us today. Please make sure to drop by on the comment section and say hello and tell us where you're watching from. To our first time guest, it is indeed a special day as we welcome you and please make sure to fill out our connect card as we'd love to get to know you more. Lastly, follow us on our social media pages to stay updated, connected, and to know what's going on online and on site in your CLC community. And right now, it is offering time. It is a blessing time. And we want to thank you for taking the opportunity to respond in gratitude and put your faith and trust in the Lord into action by obeying God's principles to give and that we are able to support CLC in a mission to spread the good news of the gospel globally. Amen. So here are the ways that you can give. You can text to give. Give through our website, e-transfer, your giving, or our mobile app. Please make sure to select the location of the campus you are giving to. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for this day as today you rose and conquered death. Lord, we thank you for giving us life, for your great love and sacrifice. And Lord, today in this season of Easter, may we reflect on how you showed us the great love and to love is to give. So Lord, as we give our tithes and offerings today, may you use it for the furtherance of your kingdom to reach more hearts, to spread the good news of the gospel, that you are alive and that you have risen. Lord, we love you, you are so worthy. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Again, Thank you, champions, for being here with us today as we celebrate our living and risen Christ. Today, we have prepared a special Easter presentation. And without further ado, Champion Life Center Scarborough presents The Man on the Cross. cross. It was meant to horrify the world. It was meant for humiliation. It was meant to last for days. It was meant for slow asphyxiation. It was meant to prolong torture. It was the Roman soldier's job. It was meant to be used by Caesar, but instead, it was used by God. It was meant to stop a movement, but instead, it became the way. It was meant to act on fear, but instead, it awakened faith. It was meant to be vicious and violent, but instead, it became our peace. It was meant to uproot hope, but instead, it became the seed. It was meant to punish captives, but instead, it unleashed freedom. It was meant to build up Rome, but instead, it built God's kingdom. It was meant to discourage rebels. It was meant to stop insurrection. It was meant to put down Jesus, but instead, it set up his resurrection. It was meant to jeer and mock him, but instead it was his glory. It was meant to erase a chapter, but instead it became the story. It was meant to hold up convicts, but instead it raised up a king. It was meant to shut our mouth, but instead it's why we sing. It was meant to be a judgment, but instead it became our mercy. It's why the song of heaven is the lamb. The lamb is worthy. It was meant to kill an enemy, crush dissenters and diversion, but instead it became the banner of God's love for every person. It was meant to be appalling, nailing hands 
and feet to wood. It was meant to be used for evil, but instead, it was used for good. It was meant to be a symbol of God's assassination, but instead, it became the symbol of Jesus' invitation. Come to the cross. Instead of sin and stain, you are meant to be made clean. Instead of being forgotten, you are meant to know your sin. Instead of being ashamed, you can leave behind your guilt. Instead of feeling empty, you were meant to be fulfilled. Instead of being broken, you are meant to be made whole. Here, Calvary is calling. It beckons you. Behold, come to the cross. Instead of being an accident, you have a purpose and a plan. Instead of being abandoned, you were chosen by his hand. For all who've said, I can't, God has said, I can. No matter what you've done, the invitation stands. Come to the cross. Instead of being doubtful, you are meant to know your father. You are meant to be his son and you are meant to be his daughter. You were cherished from the start. You are always in the picture. Instead of being a victim, you are meant to be a victor. The result of Jesus' blood, salvation has arrived. Instead of being dead, you are meant to be alive. The cross, it was meant to signal death, but instead, it's a sign of living. It was meant to be the end, but instead, it's our beginning.
disobedience, God's plan to set things right kept unfolding. There were times the Almighty's voice thundered with judgment. Sometimes it was a song of comfort. For 400 years he was simply silent. Then one night in the town of Bethlehem, everything changed. temple and spoke of tending to his father's business. At 30, he was baptized as John proclaimed him the Lamb of God. Then for three years he traveled throughout the land, healing the sick, delivering the broken, loving the outcast, and even raising the dead. At last the road turned again to Jerusalem. As he rode into the city, crowds greeted him the way they would greet a conquering king. Hosanna, sing Hosanna, come lift a shout of praise. Let songs of our Messiah swing wide the city gates. Though we have walked in darkness, the night is finally past. Our King has come to save. Descended into deep shadows. Power 
powerful religious and political forces aligned to destroy him. One who had posed as a faithful follower betrayed him for the price of a slave. But first the Lord would eat the Passover meal with his friends. He had one more opportunity to show them his love and prepare them for the coming day. In Gethsemane, Jesus prayed alone. The first drops of blood that he would shed on our behalf trickled down his brow as he surrendered to his Father's will. Soldiers arrived to arrest him, and the long night of trial and torture began. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? He was sentenced to death by crucifixion. He was stripped and scourged and mocked. And then he carried his own cross up the hill of Golgotha, where he opened his arms, submitted to the nails in his hands and feet, laid down his life willingly in your place and mine. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified
My name is Ankit and I belong to a young adult community group. Before I became Christian, I belonged to a Hindu community. Um, back in India, uh, my family, uh, they're devoted Hindus and I would um, belong to all these rituals and um, things that they would do in their religion and that was my identity back then. To me, God was the idols that we worship back when I was Hindu. So when I would think of God, I would think of those idols in front of me. Um, in my Hindu religion, there was no relationship with the gods that we worship. And from what I know, if I'm worshiping something, I should have a relationship with it. The first time I heard the gospel was at CLC in Scarborough. And I clearly remember the God calling me and um, asking me to come back to him. The first, the first encounter at the Dalai was sharing a message, and I really felt it in my heart that God was just telling me that I belong to him, that I am his child, and that, that nothing to separate us. Since I have accepted Jesus in my heart, Just when it looked like the story of Jesus would end in defeat, heaven revealed a new chapter called Victory. Sometime before the third day dawned, within the tomb, his heart began to beat, his lungs filled with air. Jesus rose to life again, just as he said he would, and the sorrow of the cross turned into joy. Christ the Lord is risen today.
From the moment Jesus conquered death, the praise that had always surrounded him in heaven suddenly became the song that his followers took up on earth. He alone was holy. He alone could save us. When we needed a lamb to atone for our sins, he alone could do it. Do you feel the world is broken? Me too. Do you feel the shadows deepen? Me too. Is it worth 